Hello, hello, welcome. This is Ascended Stars and this is your Capricorn January 2020 energies. Let's see if this would help. Okay, I think uh, we're gonna try to get some light, but I really don't want it hitting too hard on my, sorry. Okay, so things aren't perfect, guys, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's things to be done. It's not all yet in place. Oh, and there's mistakes to be made. Oh, gosh. This is Ali Jade with Ascended Stars. I'm so sorry. I just needed to get more light. I want to make sure everything's perfect. But um, welcome, January 2020. This is your energetic read on what's to come. And uh, we're going to have a Capricorn, uh, we're going to have an eclipse in your sign. So we have so much energy in Capricorn. And uh, let's start with Jupiter. Mar, uh, sorry, Venus, Mercury, Saturn, and Pluto, and the South Node. So, um, I was meditating over your cards. There was a message I got, but I'll, as I get into it, hopefully I can remember it. Um, it does have to do with the image of the goat going up the mountain, because you guys are the goat going up the mountain. So, let's do this. Let's look at your first card and see what it says. I'm excited, God, I'm, I'm like out of breath feeling like, oh my God, what's gonna happen to Cap Capricorn? You're, you're one of the last readings and you know, so much energies. It's like so much is riding on this with you guys, <laughs> I don't know. So we have the Eight of Wands. So yeah, I'm feeling a, like a little faster beat on my heart and that's because um, like, uh, an anxiety not an anxiety but just like an antsiness like a speeding up energy okay yes that's what i feel like like when you start running and your heart pumps more blood to your heart i mean yeah your body pumps more blood to your heart i feel like there's more of this you know get up and go get up and go get up and go energy so we have the eight of wands so that's some good news coming to you that's things speeding up this could be with love this could be with career this is a general but you know some of them sometimes have a, a flair for more towards the love and some um don't so let's see what you're reading oh yeah look at that i think it's about love you know <laughs> the lover's card wow okay Gemini energy and this is quick energy too it's it's swift it's fast mercurial um we do have Sagittarius right now in Mercury so that's kind of interesting that fast quick thinking you know um or I'm sorry it should be the other way Mercury in Sagittarius that's what I meant to say all right so six of pentacles nice let's keep looking and I want to tell you, like when I was um, pulling the cards, this one, uh, the Eight of Wands just rushed out of my hands. It was like, it just jumped out. So be aware that you're going to get some news in um, January. And, and this is coming up right after another reading that I do for you guys right now. It's about going on 7.30 Pacific Standard Time um, on the 15th. So this is going to be out two weeks ahead of January 2020. But... Um, that's why I want to prepare you guys because the energies are, are coming in quick. Okay. I do feel it because I felt the shift of the resonance, the Schumann resonance on December 6th. It's, but it's spiked up to 158 Hertz and, um, it hit me like, woo, nobody's business that night. It was crazy. I couldn't sleep that night. I couldn't go to bed. So, so, you know, I get, I'm an empath and I get things first. I get a lot of some of these uh, of us empaths, we get the first way. I'm a first waiver empath. Let me just tell you, that's what I am. I, I'm realizing that. Gosh, man, that's great. Okay, so <laughs> there is an excitement here. When you get this news from this person, it's going to really make you happy. And um, somehow it just boosts your confidence. It kind of adds a pep to your step. And uh, more swagger to you know who you are and you already so it's it's really great energy 
but we're moving into some blocks here we're moving into some blocks or some some of the resistance or let's see here oh oh wow well, well what would be capricorn without karma <laughs> you can't say capricorn without karma okay so my loves <laughs> because you know i mean this i'm doing um this is kind of a special style that I'm doing because I study astrology. A lot of tarot readers don't really, I'm not an expert. I mean, people think I am because I'm like, blah, 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 I can talk. I just, I'm a Virgo, so I don't feel confident. I never will feel confident about what I do. But um, this, but I do know my stuff. Like when I speak about it, I know, I know what's going on. And the thing is, um, you know, when I see this Ten of Pentacles card, it's it to me. I'm one. I think I'm the only, one of the only readers. Well, I have a different style, y'all know, but this is always to me representing karma, right? It's, it's because it's the it's the family lineage. You know, this represents family money. This is uh, money for the family, and and you know, creating something together, and that takes time. Karma rules three D time. So Saturn rules three D time. What am I saying? I'm going, going too fast. Slow down. Yeah, so I do have a, a shadow card. Let me let me pick it now because I didn't pick it. So I picked everything but the shadow card. So we're going to pick the shadow card in your reading. And you're going to see what you're taking into. This card is to represent what you're taking, what shadow elements you're taking into 2020, January 2020. Because we all have something that we incarnated here to do. And uh, it hasn't been done. And maybe we've been incarnating many, many, many times. So let's continue. We're going to get the clarifiers, of course, for my Capricorns regarding this uh, energy of regret, Four of Cups. Uh, it's too late. I'm too old. What was I thinking? I, I, I messed up. Now I can't get old. You know, I can't. How am I possibly going to do this again or do something else or get away from this situation? Yeah, I don't know what this is about. Could be your kids, man. Your kids could be getting, bringing havoc to you. Something that you did with your kids. You know, well, obviously that you're not moving forward because you're you have an energy of regret, so you're incapable of moving forward right now, or or um, in the month of December, or this is the challenge for you. All right, so let's see the Ten of Pentacles. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we're getting the messages. They're a little slow in coming, all right? But let's see. What I see for you guys is we have... The Page of Pentacles under the Lover's card. When I see this together, and you have this beautiful energy of um, the Eight of Wands coming in. So things, once you connect, I think, with this person and you decide to start implementing, you know, spending time, energy. I More than anything, I sense time. You're going to start devoting more time into your love life. You, you you might be really like, um, oh, hell no, I'm not going to be alone on New Year's Eve. You know, because this is before um, January 2020 energy. So you might have been on the Internet. You might have been uh, hunting, doing the I feel like this is like the hunt down. I feel like I do feel like a panther energy, like in the darkness, kind of prowling, kind of like, oh, who, who's going to be the one? Like you're just like really on high alert about that. And it's because I feel like there's a there's a 50 50 here. OK, in regards to the, the, the two types of general forecasts, I'm going to give you sometimes many messages come in. They may apply. Take what applies. I'm not going to give you the whole spiel about that because there's so many other of those readers that do that out there. And um, I'm sure you know the deal, um, because if you come to my channel for the first time, welcome. But it's I think I find th well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, you'll learn to understand my style if you already are into it this far i appreciate you so what i'm trying to say is we have the 
fast energy coming in with the eight of wands it's going into like this beautiful energy of um the lovers and you know what i feel is okay there's two i, I feel like three energies though okay so love's gonna be coming in and you're gonna want to be spending time and energy with this person so your typical your the way you've been maybe in the past of like let's take our time or let me get to know this person or just you don't move fast because you guys represent the pentacle which is not fast moving and especially the least fast moving of all the element signs uh with the with either the knight but this is the page i don't you know this person might be younger than you as well this person might be younger than you there, there, are they are they whoever's seeing this there might be a, an age difference okay a, a, um a rather bigger age difference that's neither here or there but what i'm going to tell you is uh some okay so the 50 percent that i was saying let's go back to the 50 percent 50 percent of you really have this you're you're in your Ella, you know, you you are you have stepped into the Capricorn energy. We have stepped into this Capricorn energy already, and you're. you're you, I feel like a swagger. Like you guys know you have. You know, you guys are. Like I'm just looking. I'm you know, like I'm just looking. I'm not. You know, you're. It's you know what I hear. <laughs> You've been look. Okay. I hate this. This sounds so corny. I'm just looking and hooking. So it's like you're just, you really are just trying to get a hookup, not really something serious, not really something major, okay? And it's like either you're getting your flirt on or you're just feeling good and you're just, you're really not, like, it doesn't seem like you're looking for something serious. Like, it's like, like, I'm not looking for commitment. This is the, this is the energy I feel for 50% of you, okay? Now for the and, and, and I feel like you guys are, those are the, the, the and that 50, that first 50% is very confident and they have, they, they built their, you know, they've walked, they've been building up the mountain and they know that, that, that where they're going and they have a, um, a stability, a good foundation to them. And you guys, you know, in regards to career, because you guys represent career. So that's more than, if anything, that I'm, I'm speaking of in your life, in your, in your life standing, in your status. Okay. Um, you ain't looking to no one to support you. So I feel like this, these 50% are very, uh, uh, what do you call it? Independent. Now the other 50% is you're just going along your business. You're doing your life. You know, maybe you're a single mom. Maybe you, you know, are married and not, you will not married, <laughs> divorced. <laughs> it wouldn't be married. It would be divorced, separated, whatever. It would be one, you know, you're, I'm looking, talking to my singles and, um, you meet someone and you guys all connect and stuff and you really your and your typical mo is not to you know is to be more like this not to um the slow energy like let's take it in baby steps you know let's uh so i feel like um there's like a lot of stories coming through gosh this is crazy okay nothing was coming and all of a sudden it's flooding all right so i feel like some of you are just going to be like more um gradual integrating this person this intimate this other partner um because you know gemini energy is a there's a there's like a a, a tension there's like a um a pull like a little bit of a you know uh like like when you play uh rope when you play that that what is that one when you when you're supposed to uh you know you're playing with the rope and you and and then there's one there's a whole bunch of people on one side and there's a whole bunch of people on the other side i'm so sorry i forgot the name of that, that game tug tug the rope or whatever it's this it's this tension okay that and so this comes in fast you meet this person they could be gemini but opposite of gemini is sagittarius so they could be gemini or sagittarius to me and so the, the the gemini energy this lover's uh card to me represents you meet a lover uh, you're dating maybe a lot of people, but you like this one individual more than everybody. And then so you're like, oh, you see more, you spend more time, more quality. Um, more of your attention goes to this one individual, right? When you're dating them. And and then the, the thing about the Gemini card, this lover's card, is that are you going to introduce them to your family? Are you going to really integrate them? Are they going to meet your kid um, right away? You know, like I, I um, my rule... FYI, like I need to know, but like my rule 
is if we've been dating for a year, then you can meet my kid. And honey, I've been single <laughs> for my whole life because ain't no man going to be doing that. So, um, but that don't matter. That don't matter. That's my life. But I'm just saying, um, that's the energy I feel. So you're really kind of contemplating, should I integrate this person into my life? Because, you know, I'm a pentacle too. I'm a Virgo. So it's like, I, you know, I move slow, slow, slow. And in today's Aquarius age, you know, it's like, oh, hi, let's F. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, Capricorn don't work that way. So you, there's this really, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like thought and in, in, um, about your love life. And how you're going to, I think there's a lot of thought. Maybe you're planning about how you're going to do your love life. Maybe some of you have recently been, um, maybe, okay. Another message. Some of you, a group of you have um, now integrated into the Aquarius age, whether you like it or not, right? So now you're like, well, maybe I should try this online dating thing. Maybe I should. Uh, Cowboys.com. No. Um, date a cowboy no yeah so it's it's like maybe you should like you're thinking oh maybe i should try this dating thing whatever so you're like open you're more open to it and more open to you know the entering into the aquarius age oh hello i welcome you i can't wait to get your reaction to really see what you you know what i can't wait to get i can't wait to get comments about people who are like wow you know you are i have been thinking about that and i can't believe what's out there yeah as i found myself Okay, so I just feel like you guys are going to be open up to this, you know, because this is, look at this, this is internet, we're, number one, the Aquarius age, internet. I always say that, okay, it has, it rules the internet. Number two is um, Gemini. It also rules databases, connections, dating, you know, probably dating sites. And number three is the three of wands, the eight of wands. It comes in fast, quick, you know, what is this? Text, Snapchat, Facebook, Messenger uh instagram you know all of that so i just feel that energy strongly for some of you okay if not somebody just may come up knock on your door <laughs> if you live in the country <laughs> all right so what else do we got we got the so what's ha what's stopping you? what's what's preventing you from really or what has prevented you from really uh having this relationship or moving forward with a relationship or um even considering because look at this we have the two of wands like even just considering like oh one day I'll, I'll, I'll oh gosh look at that and the world he's looking at the world he's got the the world in his hand internet so also maybe you've connected with somebody already for some of you or you will be connecting so this is transitional uh energy and reading you know like for some it's happened it's going to happen it's it's happening or it's going to happen so you know um if you re if you take this reading and you're like well, i don't know she doesn't know what she's saying because you know you take it right away it could be like you know you read you get the reading later and it makes more sense um you re rewatch the reading but um either way okay so this doesn't only represent the internet this also represents that you're looking at someone from your past you're stuck on someone from your past and this is the energy here of why you can't move right here why you can't move forward okay because you've been stuck on somebody from your past they're probably karmic they're, they probably came into your life to teach you a lesson the ten of pentacles that lesson should be learned you got to move on you got to you got to have you know you got to say okay i got the lesson Let's move on. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, continue this path because this path of if you continue that path, you can. I mean, it's hello. You can be in there for another eight, ten years if you want. You know, that's what the universe says. So right now is the time. You know, this is quick, fast energy. It's like when you make that decision. It's very much what you got to say. Gemini's reading too. It's interesting because Gemini's turning this stuff around in their life. So it, it, this the the energy for Gemini comes in really quick. Okay, and they they go it like where your mind goes, the body will follow. Okay, honey, so that's like number one rule. You got to keep your mind, you know, keep. Well, this is what I say: keep your money on your mind, your mind on your money. But the thing is, like you, that may be very valid for you. Money, 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 money. So 
maybe someone's going to give you money. Maybe a family member is going to give you money for your investment of what you want to do as well. And when you come in, it could be something on the internet too that you want to sell, do, be, whatever. Um, whatever that is, I don't know. But it, you know, you, you know, but the thing is, I'm also picking up that energy. So I'm getting different little messages here. And so what I was saying is, if you go back to this, this someone that, that's got you stuck or whatever, in the love department, it, because you're stuck. And, and you're stuck in this energy of this person, okay? So um, for some, there's two messages coming in again. For some of you, this is going to go away. This is have or has gone away or is going away. Like you're realizing um, that this, this thing is, is just not for the longevity for the long term this person might be very unconventional to the to the to your way that you are like you might be very set in your ways and you're realizing that this person is set in their ways in a different form shape or whatever and it just ain't working out or this person's way off you know you're like okay i used to resonate with this person but they've changed or i've changed too much so eventually you will be like the king, the king of cups, baby, the king of cups. Oh, we, you know, I'm excited to see him because I need to see his energy. I love to see his energy. And it's so funny because, how weird. How weird the upright is the light. I mean, the upright is, yeah, the upright is the dark and the back is the, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter because why do I love him? Because we do need more of this energy in the world. And if he comes up on your reading and my Capricorn reading for all the Capricorn energy that's here today for us, not today. I mean, it is here today when I'm doing this reading, but for January 2020, um, he represents the higher self to me right right now he's he's representing the higher consciousness the emotional balance okay your earth this is water it's a beautiful beautiful balance it's a beautiful dance it's a beautiful union it's a mutual um beneficial connection okay so the your higher self you'll come to a place you will it's a hard swill, it's pill to swallow right now. I don't, I don't know what's going on in your love life. I don't know how your, your past has been. I don't know all your trials and tribulations, but you will, or you're being asked, okay? Let me put it this way. Not everybody's there. You are being asked to really separate yourself from, you know, with this union, like the, 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 pe the pain, the regret, um, the time, energy, effort maybe that you've put into it uh, to just let it go, to just let it be, um, to move on and to come from a higher perspective where you're going to walk away with the lesson and just realize that, you know, sometimes a connection is just not, you know, you just stop resonating, you stop connecting, it stops being chemically beautiful and, and magnetic it just it, it ain't working anymore okay and it just it's met it's met it's come to its destination it came to the shore and now it's time for you to get off the ship and hit land and start going to your other destination to your other adventure so you know because the capricorn can get stuck i think so i feel like this was, but it was destined, you know, because you, it, without that person, you wouldn't, you know, this is the funny thing about this energy is like Capricorn, I mean, um, with this water element, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, what's happening is like, you know, this life is a, is a wheel, keeps on, a wheel keeps on turning. And so like you, if it weren't for the last event, you wouldn't get to the next event. So it's like, it, you know, if it weren't for those lessons, then you can't, you know, get higher with, into the mountain or you can't be of this higher self, you know, who can rise above and who doesn't have to be reactive or angry or resentful, bitter. Um, you just be. It, it is what it is. You you don't put an opinion. You don't put your two cents into it. You don't, you know, um, 
bad mouth it. You don't, you know what I mean? So it's, this is a, this is, a, his man is very patient. He's a teacher. He's a preacher. He listens to other, so it, they're asking you to listen. They're asking you to listen more. Okay. We have two ears and one mouth. The universe is asking you to listen. Information is going to be coming your way, okay? You listen, and then you start acting, and you start doing it, and then you feel like, well, I just can't do anything. What am I supposed to do? No, you just take baby steps, okay? You have a little more compassion and a little more uh, patience, a little more love for your with yourself in, in, in your movements, okay? In your movements. And I, and I feel like this stop and go energy, stop and go energy. All right, so that's been said and done. Let's see what else we got for ya. We've got five minutes to finish this reading. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, look at you, Capricorn. Family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life. So maybe we've had so, you know, this whole time we've had so many challenges with the family. Now we have so much energy supporting and, and Capricorn represents family. It represents lineage, long lasting, well, it doesn't represent family per se, but it represents the father in, in the, if you look at the chart, you look at the Capricorn energy and it tells you a lot about the father. So this could be, you know, you're the father in the family or just for, you know, obviously the father has a family. <laughs> what do I say? So it just, you know, for me, it's family. Okay. So it's beautiful. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So this is very important in the month of January 2020. This is also the whole tone of the whole year to me, January 2020. And of course, family is always important, but maybe it's taking a higher importance now. It's a, it's a, you know, we're all getting older. So, yeah. okay, so let's see courage. I am courageous and this energy supports me throughout my life. Um, so here we go. We have some, like somebody younger. Okay, so I do feel like, um, this connection with the youth and the older generation, you know, there's a, there's a big gap. So we got to, I feel like the older generation has to be more patient with the youth, you know, because the youth, they've heartened their hearts because they have to, because of the society that us adults have left for them. So don't blame them if they start doing stuff that, you know, seems out of like, we don't understand it so much. It's because we've left them this type of world and, 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 and we've left them to their own defenses. You know, because the government ain't helping us, is it? You know, and, and so I don't want to get into political stuff, but I'm going to tell you, you know, Aquarius age is a lot about young thinking, new things, um, not doing things in the old way. And Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which is doing things the old way. We don't have to change it. It's breaking down. We don't care. It's, you know, it, and a lot of it is we don't care. Capricorn energy is like cold. You guys know it can be cold. Bad see for cold Capricorn sometimes, but that being said, this year you are being called to be compassionate. You can be cold, but they're telling you don't do that with your family. Okay, you might be um, called to be this preacher teacher uh, type of energy, com more compassionate, more understanding, more listening, more communication with the family, not si not saying, well, I'm working, I'm working. You, you got to drop work maybe and, and go. I feel like some of you are going to have to, you know, because this guy, if he was working and somebody called about the family or some emergency, he wouldn't continue to be working. He would, he would be like, I got to go. He, he'd be like, excuse me, I must go leave. And you know, he's very polite. <laughs> he's very well mannered, by the way. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm excited. I swear to God, I'm excited to see him. I'm so excited to see him in the Capricorn um, reading. Okay, so uh, if you didn't recognize my excitement, um, let's see the shadow side. What is Capricorn coming in uh, for this karma? Like, what's the shadow side that br you're bringing in with you for January 2020 for my collective? Work. I go to work every day like a doctor. Okay, yeah, this is great. This is great. This is Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Okay, yeah. It's pretty apropos. You guys do work. You love work. Look at the camera. It loves you guys working. Look at the universe saying, hey, Capricorn, you go to work. OMG, I love it. And look, the wheel. So there's something about the dynamic of your work. It may change what you used to do. Or maybe you've been at a job that you didn't like. Or maybe you're going to 
vice versa you're gonna go to a job that you don't like or you're gonna change it up but work is gonna be major massive in this month all right perfect and probably uh, into the, the whole year all right so let's read your I have an herbal healing um, card I have specially picked for each sign and I'm so glad I haven't gotten any repeats but look what you got ginkgo patience i laughed so hard when i saw this because i had to select it in the book before the re i started the reading because i don't like you guys waiting i don't like my my um subs waiting here so i i i but anyway let's read it it says adopt the patient the pace of nature her secret is patience that's by ralph Waldo Emerson. This man has the most amazing quotes. Okay, so the oldest living tree species, the eldest ginkgo trees, date back to over 300 million years. <gasps> oh my God, that's so cool. You guys rule time. Million years, wow. Okay, as a relic of the prehistoric world, ginkgo is referred to as a living fossil. Individual trees can live 1,000 years or more and survive even the most desperate conditions. The use of ginkgo in herbal medicine dates back 5,000 years in Chinese medicine. Oh yeah, this stuff is old. I know that. Even today, ginkgo's popularity remains. All right, so the ginkgo is a spirit tree old enough to remember dinosaurs walking the earth. Medicinally, this plant imparts its gifts of strength and longevity to humans. The greatest lesson gleaned from a long life is that of patience. To a child, waiting an hour before going to the beach can feel like an eternity. As we grow up, typically become endowed with a greater ability to wait. Hey, that's Capricorn energy. Imagine what the world must look like to the ginkgo tree. An hour might feel like a blink of an eye to being that lives to be 1,000 years old. However, age does not always bring a sense of patience as aging causes some of us to feel as tough as though time is running out. Ginkgo asks you to be patient, no matter your age or your circumstance. If age is concerning you, take inspiration from the ginkgo tree. Yes, darling, I am. Who shows us that old age does not equal fragility or weakness? The plant medicine strengthens the elderly, even restoring functions that have been lost. Ginkgo singles signals that vitality and new growth is always possible regardless of age. While you may feel frustrated with some stagnation in your life, realize, realize that this shall eventually pass. Also watch your temper. <laughs> oh no, wow. And be sure that you are not speaking from a place of impatience or anger, you know, if, you're, if your temper's there. So while patience is called for in the present situation, this does not mean giving up on your dreams. Tenacity is another virtue to cultivate now. In autumn, the ginkgo's leaves turn bright yellow, the color of the solar plexus chakra, which governs our willpower. Getting in touch with this energy center will be of benefit to you. So as an exercise, try getting in touch with your most vital goals. Decide what steps you can take today to achieve these goals. If there is something you can present, present, presently accomplish, do so. If you find there's nothing you can currently do, then be willing to let go for a time. Ginkgo remind us, reminds us that all circumstances eventually change. A balance between patience and tenacity is required. Hold fast to go to your goals. Be firm with your actions, but do not attempt to push the natural order of events. Yeah, baby. I like it. I like it. And it's, I laughed. I laughed when I saw that for you guys. I was like, wow, you guys are the old man. And, you know, to become an old man, you got to be patient. And <laughs> you got to be, and you got, you have the wisdom. You guys remind me a lot of the hermit when I when I think of the Capricorn energy, which is, you know, your, your sister sign of Virgo. So let's see what we have for the power of love, which are cards by James Von Prague. Okay, harmony. This just popped out. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Oh, I want to give you another one. That's beautiful. It just seems like a little bit 
be patient, have harmony. Love's coming in. Uh, love may not be like as fast as you like, or it may be as, you know, I think it's on you how you want to do the love individuality. Oh my gosh. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you guys are so interesting. I love, I do love my Capricorns. You know, I'm a Virgo. I've never, I don't think I've ever gone out with a Capricorn. <laughs> but I do have a rising uh, sun that has the Capricorn energy. And man, damn, he's stubborn as hell. <laughs> Okay, he matches my uh, Taurus moon stubbornness. Okay, so this is your astrological card. The immortal spirit, purpose and destiny is in involved. Wow, so this is great. So the sun's going to go into Capricorn. What is it, like midweek? Like this week. Um, uh, take advantage of your season. Because this is your time. Like you have so many planets that never, like never before here aligned, destined to guide you. You know, um, nothing's stopping you. Nothing's stopping you but you, Capricorn. You really are unstoppable. And sometimes it's scary because we can be our own worst enemy or we can um i i feel bad if if you let this time go like we can be stubborn yeah i had picked that up when i said that but that was for a reason we can be stubborn in in being like i think not we <laughs> you <laughs> but um who we all have capricorn energy in us right but the the stubborn can come in um in waiting you know and this is not the time to wait this is the time to do and accomplish and and when so now they're saying this is your time you know like start moving start shaking start connecting um this is very this is also another message it's very important who you connect with in capricorn season because those uh look your immortal spirit purpose and destiny is involved those connections are destined so you got to be careful who you let in your life, Capricorns. you got to be real. I know you are, but I, I've been trying to give this message, you know, um, in back in September, I, I was getting images of like, you know, you, you do cement on a driveway. And then we had time to like, you know, the owner said, well, no, look at this. I don't like the cement. So we could redo the cement and the, you know, cement's wet. It's still wet and it's drying, but we're now in the time where this cement is drying or like musical chairs where you play musical chairs and it was like oh oh i'll just catch the next you know I, I don't have a chair i'll just catch the next game well there ain't no next game this is like the bus is leaving the train is coming and if you don't take advantage and make that choice to go for it you are going to lose you're going to miss it you're going to miss it okay so i hate to be a little like stern about that but that's really it's really intense like i don't want you guys missing nothing so let's see here because you are stubborn because you are stubborn i also tell you what i'm picking up if you guys have any idea or any plans of like motivating yourself through revenge or through getting someone back don't do it don't do it baby don't do it focus on your energy Focus on yourself, okay? Because this is definitely a confirmation. You must harness compassion, love, more self-love, more self-compassion, more self-kindness to yourself, okay? If you can do that, you can do it to others. But you got to give it to yourself first. You're dealing with family issues, of course. You know, you're dealing with some karmic things that you came into in, uh, into families. We can't pick, like I said earlier in one of my readings, we can pick our friends, but we can't pick our family. And, oh boy, I wish I could pick my family. But that's the way it is. That's the way it is. I chose this somewhere, sometime, somehow, before I even knew I came in. All right. Yeah, this is it. Go for it. Go for it. Now is the time. Now is the time. That's the title of this. That's the title of this. Now is the time. 
orphaned okay so a lot of you have these abandonment issues okay a lot of you are not gonna you can't like this is what i feel you came into families your 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 physical families that you incarnated into they're there to, they were there you chose these or we integrated with them again and again and we chose these and we're supposed to grow with them and we're, or we are the one that's the outcast, the scapegoat in the family. And that's whatever. That's the way it was meant to be. And if you feel this way, um, don't let any of that stop you because that, that's the darkness trying to keep you down, like tie you down. like Because it, it also has to do with our, our relationships. We end up getting into relationships that are toxic and bad and or, or just unhealthy because we're repeating these painful wounds and patterns inside of us. So... Focus on you, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Be, be as selfish as you can and focus on you because this is your time for manifesting. And honey, if you want to get revenge, get that financial revenge. Get that like success. I'm, I got that success. Get that you're driving behind the Porsche event, revenge, you know? But that don't be like, you know, drive behind the Porsche and, Porsche and try to get somebody while they're walking. But, you know, you're, you're driving behind the Porsche and you're at a stop and the top is down. Or a convertible <laughs> the top is down and you know you see you see you see somebody that you, you know, drives by and sees you you know that's the that's the best revenge than like you know any other so message in a bottle this is emotional this is emotional yeah you're gonna have to go through some real emotional emotions right now you're gonna have to really process and um connect whether whether you know i feel like some of you have been denying this or tap dancing around it the emotion thing you know not getting really uh involved with things that that you know require too much emotion maybe you've been distant with your family emotionally maybe you're like, no, you just give money. You're like, let's just put mom in the house. Like, I don't want to deal with her. Let's just put her in a, in a home. You know, like that kind of, no, you got to deal with this stuff. You got to deal emotionally, okay? Mom's sick, dad's sick. You got to really deal with this stuff head on. So, well, you know, I, I've always been, feel, you know, I always, they always treat me bad and they did this and that and blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to take action. There's going to be a requirement here with family that you're going to have to take action. You're going to have to act quickly. You're going to have to do it now. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with this, but I'm going to read one of the messages. Which one do you guys want me to read? The message in the bottle? Okay, I'll read that one. Okay, so let's do that one. That's a cute one. I like it. All right, so message in the bottle says essential meanings, communication, a Clayton, the ancient name for spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open, for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you, and the reply is favorable. Yeah, also, um, I forgot to say, he's a very spiritual guy. So you got to connect to spirit, you know, like the Scorpio message, um, which is a water sign, is they got to, they're going to go internal, connect to their internal emotions, and um, they're going to retreat into a more connection spiritually they got a lot of the seven energy you got a six here so you guys got the balance and balance your emotions because i see this look it looks like um he's you know the, the it's so vertical it's not lateral it's not parallel i mean so it means like you guys are really like gonna be shifting like really highs and really lows and, and i see it in the water so sometimes you're going to be overthinking or sometimes you're going to be over emotional and 
And this guy can be over emotional. So this is going to be a very sensitive month for you. It's going to be a very sensitive month for you. And maybe that's why family is so important because you will have to retreat into that. If you have a loving family, I'm sure some Capricorn men out there, or women have a loving family. You know, the kids, you might have to retreat into the that love or the pets and the, you know, whatever, just the home. So you that's the opposite of Capricorn cancers is family. So you that's gonna that's your polarity. So that's your solution to when you're out of balance, then you know, you need to go into feeling more nurtured and nurture yourself, care for yourself, do some self-care. Um take time you know retreat so that's what i'm gonna leave you with and thank you so much for watching because i've gone 45 minutes on you guys capricorn the longest reading awesome so i wish you the best all my info is down below give it a thumbs up if you found anything that you liked on this video i appreciate you like i said much love and light take care Bye bye